Welcome to Daily Devotions for Tuesday, February 2nd. Uh, uh, over the last week, a couple of times, I've had different people uh, remind me of a Bible verse. Uh, and um, it's one that uh, that is pretty well known, uh, though we often forget the whole verse. Uh, but what we remember is something about that God won't give us anything more than we can handle, or God won't allow us to be tested beyond what we can endure. Uh, and uh, I thought it'd be good to look at the actual verse. And one of the things about understanding verses is that they, they're not like fortune cookies. They weren't written to be isolated. They're usually part of something that is being explained uh, in the bigger context. Uh, and so we don't have to look much farther. There's a lot more to this verse than just that one simple thought. So. Uh, listen here. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful, and God will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, God will also provide a way out so that you may be able to endure it. So the first thought that's interesting here uh, is that uh, whatever we are facing, the one good thing to remember is uh, that whatever we face um, is a testing that is um, that is common. It, it's common for human beings to face the rejection, the suffering, the loss, the fear, the anxiety, uh, the uh, disappointment. Um, and um, you know, each time we experience something like that, it can it can make us feel like, we're different from everyone else, that nobody else has ever felt what we felt. And I don't want to take away from the uniqueness of each individual's experience, but the test within that is something common to all of us. The verse goes on uh, and it says, God is faithful and God will not let, God is faithful. You know, um, when uh, we are wondering if we can hold on to our own faith in God, it's also good to remember that um, God holds on to us, that God is faithful, and God is watching over our situation even when it feels like we've been forgotten and isolated. And then the last part here. Uh, but with the testing, God will also provide a way out so that you may endure it. Maybe this is the most important one in there, is that um, in those hard times um, where it feels like something is so hard that it's gonna crush us, we need to remember uh, to trust that God will provide a way out and it will be something holy and part of God's will. And, uh, Boy, Jesus took that all the way to the cross, didn't he? And he believed that God would find a way out. And he did. And he certainly did. So um, that's it. It's easy to say God won't allow you to be tested beyond what you can endure. But also remember that what you endure is not something isolated just to you. Remember that the people who wrote the Bible and that your brothers and sisters in Christ have also faced terrible things as well. That even when you're running out of faith, that God is still faithful. And even when all you can see around you is the thing that's tearing you apart, don't forget to look for the way out that God is preparing for you as well. It's a way back to life. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for our brothers and sisters who are going through tests right now uh, because we know that one day it will be us as well. So help us to be there for them uh, so that they might be there for others when their time comes. In your holy name we pray. Take care. Bye-bye, my friends.